right, so what I have here is e raised to the square root of x plus 2. And what I can do with this is, um, well, we're going to take the derivative, but what's going to happen here is I'm going to actually rewrite this as e raised to the x plus 2 raised to the 1 half. And the reason why is it's easier to take the derivative when you write uh, in exponents rather than radicals. It's just easier. All right, so the derivative, we pull this whole thing down. So what we end up with is, so we'll end up taking the derivative of that, uh, x plus 2 raised to the 1 half, and then we still have our e, um, well, square root of x plus 2. All right, so we're going to use a chain rule to figure this out. So what that's going to be is we're going to pull down the 1 half, and then um, we're going to take the derivative of what's on the inside there, and uh, that's going to be d d x of x, well, x and then plus 2, but 2 goes to 0. But then um, we got to subtract 1 from here, so what we're left over with is x plus 2 raised to the negative 1 half. So the derivative of this is just going to be 1 plus 0, so it's just 1, so we get 1 half. So we get one half times, and all this just went to zero, or just one and zero. So we get one half times um, x plus two raised to the negative one half, and then times our e raised to the x plus two raised to the one half. So this here can go on the bottom along with the one half. So what we end up with ultimately is um, e raised to, well, raised to the x plus 2. I'm alternating between 1 half and the square root. The square root's the same thing as 1 half. And then on the bottom we'd have 2, and I can just rewrite it as square root of x plus 2 instead of x raised to the negative 1 half. All right, that's it. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.